So something that we see a lot is actually an HOA requirement in many areas, and it's the use of wire ties instead of screws to attach snake fence to a view fence. The idea behind it is that people think that the wire ties are gonna make it so that it doesn't damage the fence because if you put a screw into uh, steel, it's gonna make a hole. But here's what's really happening, and let me show you. So these wire ties actually rust really easy. When they're applied, a lot of times they're not actually touching the fence, but where they do, here's what the result is. When they rust, it actually eats through that paint and it accelerates the damage that's caused by the fence being attached. An alternative that people use are these plastic zip ties. And even though those are not gonna cause any damage to the fence, what happens is that this is plastic. This is gonna last about 15 minutes in the sun in Arizona, and then you have a gap in there. So there's a lot of stuff that's done to avoid using screws in a fence, but screws themselves don't actually damage the fence at all. So you might be thinking that, well, a screw is gonna put a hole in there, isn't that gonna be worse? Well, not if you use the right type of screw. So we use self-tapping screws with a little gasket on there so that when the screw is put in there, it's sealed tight and is easily removed. Sometimes if you live in an area that the fence needs to be painted occasionally, they'll want you to take the fence down. If there's screws, you just take the screw out, pop off the fence, get the paint done and put it back on and you're done. So here's a perfect example of why not to use these plastic zip ties too. This one, broke well it's like it's like an eggshell in my hand and what that's done is left this gap and a rattlesnake can easily get through there and here's another example of the wire ties rusting this one's rusting and you can see where it's actually starting to corrode through the paint here's another one over here there was a wire tie there at some point but it looks like it's rusted through and broken off and what you're left with is damage to the fence and that's going to be a lot more damage that's going to be caused by just having a screw in there that you can very easily take on and off. So we totally understand why someone would want to use wire ties or zip ties instead of putting a screw through the metal. Totally makes sense. You don't want to cause damage to the fence and you want it to last a long time. But in reality, it doesn't work that way. Those things actually make it a lot worse to do. So no matter which way you're looking at it, the best, most permanent, durable way to protect your fence and your yard is to use self-tapping screws and that's why we do it.